guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to put into my period kit for back to school. So before I get started with this video, I just want to thank my new and old subscribers so much. I'm so thankful for all the support that has been on my back to school videos. I love you guys so much. So today I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put into my period kit. But if you don't know much about periods, don't worry because next week me and my mum are going to be filming a period video together. So we're going to be talking about all that stuff in that one. So if you don't know much about it, stay tuned. on getting something about this size because it fits everything in it perfectly you can use a new pencil case if you want to go and get a new one but also old ones are perfect as well I just got a new one because I think this one's so cute and I'm so glad my mum found it because look how cute it is so guys let's face it periods might be a bit embarrassing for you so you might not want to get a clear one but that is your preference. So I got a clear one just because I'm going to be keeping it in my bag and I'm not going to be taking it to the toilet because in my school, you're not allowed to take your bag to the toilet anyway. So I think if everyone saw that I was taking a pencil case into the girls' toilets, they'll know what I'm doing anyway. Um, but I'm just going to lean into my bag, get what I need and put it into my pocket and then take it to the toilet. But some of you may not want to do that so you can just not get a clear one. It really depends on what you want. When you first start off with your period, you might not want to go straight in with tampons. You might want to start using sanitary towels first, which is what I use. But here is what the difference. So this is what a pad looks like, and this is a tampon. But we'll talk about all the different types when I do the video with my mum. But right now I'm going to show you my personal favourites. So my favourite brands are between Lil Lips and Always. So Lil Lips have a teen range, seen as they are slightly smaller. And this is the daytime one, and this is the nighttime one. And the one thing I love about Lil Lips, look how cute the packaging is. So guys, this is what they look like when they're not in the packaging. But if you rip them open, I'm not going to do that today because me and my mum are going to talk more about that in the video that we're going to do together. But this is what they look like when they're in the really cute packaging. Don't you just love it? They're really small and they're going to fit in my pencil case perfectly. And as you can tell, there's definitely a size difference between the daytime and the nighttime. Because obviously you're going to be wearing a nighttime one longer than a daytime one. So these are the always ones and these are for nighttime. So if I've got a heavier flow, I like to use these at nighttime instead of the Lil Lips ones. And again, the packaging is so cute. Don't you just love it? So guys, these are the always daily liners, which are my favourite liners to wear. I wear these leading up to my period or a couple of days after my period, just in case there's a few more drops. And also guys, with liners, there's no nighttime or daytime, they're just all the same, but you can get different thicknesses as well. And guys, just look how small and cute they are. They have little flowers on them and they're pink. So now I've shown you my favourite sanitary towels, let's get my period kit packed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the biggest thing, and this is wipes. So with wipes, you want to make sure they are intimate wipes, which means they're down for down there, because if you don't use ones that are for that spot, then you, it can cause infection. So these are from Nature Care, but you can get tons of different brands. So it is just a wet wipe, but it freshens you up. So I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to just pop these in. Like so. So guys, this is the kit that I keep at home, so I'm not going to be opening up all of these because I've already got some here. And by the way, these ones here are just liners. So I recommend on keeping up to two to three pads into your period kit, just because you never know what your flow's going to be. So it could be heavier, light, or medium. So I'm going to put all of these in here now. I'm going to put the biggest in first, and then the daytime one. So on my last video when I mentioned that I was going to film this period kit video, tons of you have been asking loads of questions. So on my story there is a question box so you can ask any questions there and then with me and my mum on the next video we will be answering it there. So the next thing I'm going to add in is one liner. So this is what it looks like, it is so cute, I love the little flowers on them. So now I'm going to add this one in. So that's it for all my pads and liners. 
know, you shouldn't put a used sanitary towel or a tampon into the toilet because it can block it. So in every girl's toilet, there should be a bin next to the toilet where you put them in. So you can either wrap them in toilet tissue and then put them in, or, which I like to use, um, these sanitary disposal bags just because it feels a bit more nicer to put it in in a bag where no one can see anything. Um, and these are fragrance and they smell so good. Um, these are Waitrose own brand. They also do wipes on a Waitrose own brand as well. So if you want to get them. And this is what they look like. They're just purple. But you can get tons of different brands that do these. I just got them from Waitrose. So I've just got about, I can, don't even know, I've just got a couple out and I'm just going to put them in because you don't need to take a whole packet. So one of the main things other than pads is to bring a spare pair of pants because you never know. It could be your first period or it can just come up on you and you could mess your pants. So it's always good to bring a spare pair of pants which is one of the main things. So I'm just going to pop that one in. There. unfortunate things about your period sometimes you may get muscular pain back pain cramps or headaches which is also known as PMS and there's also tons of other symptoms so you can just take normal paracetamol but there are brands like these like Feminax which are made especially for period pain so I'm really lucky because so far I haven't actually experienced any cramps or any pain so far um, so I haven't actually taken any of these yet, but these are the ones that I will take if I do get any. So my mum always gets period pain and she's always coming into my room and taking these. <laughs> um, but she says they're really good. So when I first started my period, I was so lucky because my mum actually made me a little kit. Here is a little picture. She brought it home. I didn't even know she was going to do it. And it was literally the best. As you can see, some of the stuff in there is amazing. Like chocolate, hot chocolate. It was the best. Um, so this was in it. Um, so what I've actually done, this is what it actually looks like. Let me just open it up. They are quite big tablets, which scares me because I'm not very good at taking tablets. But this is what it looks like. Um, but what um, me and my mum have done, we've just cut two off so I don't have to take a whole pack in. You have to be 12 to take these certain tablets, which obviously I am. Um, but just make sure a parent knows you're taking pain tablets. And also check with your school if you're allowed to take tablets in because my school allow it. But let me just put these in. So the next thing that I'm going to take is this Carex hand gel because sometimes you go into the toilet and there is no soap in the soap dispensers and obviously you'd usually use soap and water which sometimes they don't which is so annoying. So I'm going to put this in just in case which I'm pretty sure they will. Um, but it's just in case, you know, and it smells so good because it's aloe vera. Oh, I just squirted it everywhere. <gasps> oh, I just fell on my jeans. <laughs> no! And as you all know, I'll have a hand lotion in my bag as well, but I'm just going to keep that in my bag because I always use that. It's getting very full now, <laughs> as you can see, but I'm so happy with all the stuff I have in it. period you can be hormonal you can have cravings you just have loads of different symptoms so one of my favorite things to do is eat food that I love <laughs> so that may sound really weird but I've got some sweets here to put in so I'm gonna put a chubby chops lolly in and also a bar of dairy milk because sometimes it just makes you feel that extra bit better <laughs> look how cute these are I didn't know they would be that small but that is adorable <laughs> So now I'm going to put these into my little pain kit. Boom. And it's a good excuse anyway just to treat yourself when you're in your period. <laughs> so let's zip that one up because I finished putting everything into it. So you guys, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm so happy I've now got this. So you don't have to have all of the stuff that I just put in. You can put whatever you want in. But my main thing is to take a spare pair of pants and a sanitary towel. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'm really looking forward to now doing the Q&A with my mum. And again, don't forget to check out my stories after this video. So periods can be a little bit confusing and a little bit embarrassing. But there's no need to be embarrassed because it happens to every girl. So I'm really looking forward to filming the next period video for you guys. So I've got loads of back to school videos planned for you. So my main ones are going to be back to school routines and what's in my bag which will be coming soon. Thanks again for all of your support. And if you haven't already make sure you go subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.